got to make sure that this belt is centered right on the fan, otherwise it slides off either way. For me it's 19 millimeter just so I can use both. I found a, a nut that has the same thread pitch as the end of the spline here. To me I think it makes better sense to have one socket for both. You can find that at Lowe's or any hardware place. I like to use a breaker bar, it gives me greater leverage. There you go. Got it up on the bottom of the clutch bell. Alright, this is the TST variator from Chris. This is not the OEM fan. <clears throat> this is uh, the one that comes with the variator. I'm going to remove it. Here's the belt, of course. What I like to do is I pull apart the torque driver and push the belt back in so that the belt holds the torque driver at its most open position. And then this way it's easy to manipulate the belt. Okay, what I have here is the OEM shim. Doesn't focus all that close. And the thinner one from the variator kit. Um, I found that with my setup that works the best. And I don't get the you know the belt flopping around like a like a bass guitar string like I was mentioning before. Um, that just shows that there's an alignment problem. If you're having problems with takeoff or uh, vibration, you might want to look into that. Uh, yours might require just the thin shim or the the two shims that came with the TST. Like all these things are for is just for taking up, uh, you know, you know, manufacturing differences and tolerances, and uh, you know, making sure that the belt is aligned, you know, for your setup. All right, and they go right there on the on the end of the spline. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Let me just angle this down so we can show this here. Okay. I got, um, I forget what one of these ones weigh here. The 11 grams got from Chris, these are the PG ones. And I got some 9 gram ones from Polini. And you see here how I have them alternating weights. Let me show you here. Inside the variator, it's indicated, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it has an S, an L, S, an L, S, an L slot all the way around and you can see the variator here on the S slot there's a little steeper ramp it's more thick right there and then on the L slot it's much thinner because it's much less of a curve I guess okay you want to make sure that you have your heavy weights on the slow path that's how I remember it And your lighter weights on the L path. L is for light. And these Polini uh, rollers, very good. Um, some of you guys remember on the forums that I went on a ride, probably a bit too far, but I was doing 55, 65, even uh, up to about 75. Um, you know, for you know brief periods of times, but I maintained my average speed was probably around 55, 60. Um, and I don't have any, I mean, just maybe the most minute flat spots on here, but not enough to make a difference. They're just pretty much just broken in and they're only on one or two places. So I really like these, uh, Polini rollers, by the way, and, uh, they can be had for pretty cheap at Spy. Yeah, these are all pretty good. 
you always want to check these things a couple hundred miles or so or when you start noticing performance going down okay done with that right put the cover on one thing I don't like about it is uh, this is that compared to the OEM one the back of the variator plate kind of fits on there loose slides around a lot I like how the stock one pressed in and you wouldn't have to worry about it falling off but uh, the easiest thing to do to keep all the roller weights in there making sure that none of them jump around on you is just keep pressure all the way back and hold it like that and use your thumb to press down on the boss or the center shaft center shaft You're not supposed to lube these <clears throat> I know the uh, OEM one comes lubed but this one is just a it's just a tight fit inside inside the uh, variator no wiggle room um, but you do not want to lube this because uh, what ends up happening is that the lube will eventually spin out and hit on the dry face and then your belt will start slipping and you'll be wondering why okay give me a moment to adjust there we go <coughs> All right, little trip I learned along the way. Is that you got a lot of oil on your hands? So I take this high-speed gun wash. It's uh, you can use any kind of degreaser, but I this is what I have handy: solvent degreaser. And I get all those fingerprints off of there after you put together the assembly. This way you don't have any oil on the variator face that will cause the belt to slip even at the slightest amount. You don't have to use a whole lot, just enough to remove your fingerprints. Okay, we'll do both sides, the fan. Okay, voila. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shims on there. It doesn't matter if you have thick or thin first. As long as you get them on there, and they just sit right up on there. Okay. Too easy. You saw that I pulled the uh, the torque driver apart and let the belt slip in. That is so that I have plenty of play when I go to put the the dry face or the fan back on. Okay. You don't want to reinstall the dry face like this. And then cinch it down because then you have it cinched against the belt and not against the shims and if it's off kilter it's going to cause some vibration um, and, and possibly it could, cause, it could cause your assembly to come apart on you all right because once this belt starts to move like you know it does you're going to have a space in between there and it'll be loose okay don't want that so, like I said, I always have a lot of space on this, on the torque driver. So I have ample room to tighten this down. So I pinch it up. And make sure that is as far back as it goes. And you should still see some of the splines on the end. Castellated nut. Or actually, it's not a castellated nut, but it looks like one to me. So that's what I'll call it. Put that bad boy on there. That's what you want right there. You should see that belt moving. Plenty, of, plenty of slack in, behind there. This way, you know you're not squeezing on the belt. Okay. Uh, I want to snug that up first. Again, make sure that's on there nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and centered. Oh, start to slip.
That's it. That's it.